Hello Balmy Badger Army and welcome to today's show. Now it's been a while since we've done a subscription box unboxing, probably quite a few years actually. Um, years ago when we first did vlogs on the channel, we did a loot box and then we did Japan Crate. And now, all being well, we are going to do a monthly unboxing of Tea Time Bookshop in an effort to read more as part of our New Year's resolution and of course, now we're on lockdown, it's good to vary and do different things. So, I wanted to do this, and of course the boss agreed as well, and we went for the random one. Now, there was lots of different subscriptions you could go for, lots of different ideas you could go for, but we went for the random selection. So, you never know which book you're going to get, or what type of book you're going to get, and what type of other bits and pieces you'll get either. So it's gonna be a very interesting mix bag to see what happens. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing what we're gonna get. I didn't expect it to come flat packed like this. I expected it to be in a larger box. So whether or not that uh, is a good thing or a bad thing, we're gonna find out. Hopefully some of the bits aren't smashed or whatever. I will warn you though, I probably will, will not be opening some of the bits and pieces because obviously I'm going to save those for the boss to look at. But we will have a look and see what the book is and what the different things are. Right, okay, let's go for it. Okay, so it's a flat pack box. It's got a nice little sticker on there saying Tea Time Bookshop, monthly book subscriptions. So let's have a little look. Right, here we go. We can open it like this. Here we go. So I'm going to do it so you guys can see. Right, here we go. Oh, it's stuck down very heavy. Okay. So that's actually quite a, a good, sturdy box there. There we go. Right, okay, there we are. Right, let's have a little look, see what's inside. Right, okay. We have, oh, okay. There we go. You probably can't see that through there, so I'm going to go a bit closer. Okay, so number two, blend number two. Infuse in a coffee cup for three minutes for perfect extraction. The Little Coffee Bag Company. Oh, that's interesting. I've had coffee bags before and I really like them. So I'm looking forward to trying this to see what it tastes like. Now, some of them can be really strong. I don't know if you've ever tried coffee bags. I know that sounds random, right? But they're really nice, really strong. So if you like your coffee uh, stronger than, you know, a, a cup of mud, and of course, being able to put your spoon in it and it stands up. A coffee bag is the way to go. And uh, they are really tasty and you really get good quality coffee with coffee bags, I've found. Really, really rich, dark and awesome. So I recommend trying out a coffee bag. That's something really cool. Okay, here we go. We've also got another coffee bag here. This one in a different package. It says the Little Coffee Bag Company infusing the coffee cup for three minutes for perfect extraction indeed so this is a different type of one it doesn't actually say what type of uh, coffee bag this is but it must be a different um, type because it's in a different packaging so if i remember and if you guys are interested i'll let you know what those taste like as they're both different okay oh well, here we go we got meredith and drew scrumptious scrumptious Shorty Swirl. So that looks really nice, doesn't it? Ooh, look at that. So there's a man on a penny whistle, I believe it is. And uh, and a penny farthing, I should say. And uh, it's made of a swirl. And you've got like the, the different fun aspects on there. And you've got a bowl. Very eccentric British company by the looks of it. So that was Meredith and Drew. Scrumptious Shorty Swirl. So that should be nice. And uh, nice purple packaging with... Um, you know, with oats on it and barley and all sorts of stuff like that. So this is a very eccentric British product, I'm guessing. So yeah, lots of different pieces. Okay, and there's even a little picture of a little birdie there as well. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks really fun indeed. So since 1830, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure me and the boss are going to enjoy nibbling at those. So that's pretty cool. Right, what else is in here? Let's have a little look. There's a little postcard, actually. So this is from the book, The Art of Urban Sketching. 
apparently. So you get a postcard in there and I'll probably send that to someone soon, actually. That's pretty cool. And you can write a little message on there. I really love that art piece, actually. That's really cool. Nice little postcard. Isn't that cute? That's really nice. So I'll be sending that to someone with a nice little note soon, I'm sure. Right, here we go. What else is there? There's a little thank you, I think, but that says it on the inside of the box. So we do that there in a minute. There it says, oh, Christmas won't be Christmas without a good book. So I'm guessing this is the Christmas subscription and then we'll get the other one in the coming weeks. Ah, that's a nice little cute bookmark for when we're reading the book. Now, let's have a look here, see what it says here. It says, thank you for your order. Please let us know if you have any problems. This was packed by Phil. I hope you enjoy your package. Thank you, Philip. All right, here we go. So this is the book. Shall we gather at the river? I've not heard of this book before, so let's have a look. Thrilling, unpredictable, if not downright malevolent. That's an interesting thing for a book. When a book says it's malevolent, that's interesting. Ah, okay. The story of Enoch O'Reilly, a rejected Cimmerarian who recast himself as a radio evangelist in a small Irish town of Moon, channeling the spirit of rock and roll for his own ends, a Presley and Charlatan, Enoch has much enthralled by his notions of personal glory, as is the power of the word. When the great flood affects the town, a rash of mysterious suicides follow, and Enoch attempts to find the answers in the mysteries and myths that are abound, but scarcely understands the cosmic forces that have propelled him towards the ruin. Wow! So that's pretty interesting then, isn't it? This is going to be an interesting little book. I've never heard of it. It's called Majestic and Squalid at the same time if the Bible were actually about Elvis. The rhythm and music carry you like a baby on a raft in the river. But it's preciousism and the words clinch you. Maybe best of all, it makes you think and argue first with the author and then with everything around you. So let's have a look, see what that's like. And um, once I've read this, would you like to see a book review or something like that? let me know in the comments. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, let me know if you've read this, and let me know if it's any good in the spoilers. But please do try and avoid spoilers for me, but let me know comments and all different things about the book if you'd like to. That'd be fun, won't it? And that, tell me what you've been reading during lockdown too. Thanks very much for watching. I'll probably do a review on this book soon when I can, and I'll let you know what I think. Let me know if you ever do any sort of book reviews or book clubs as well. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.